So let's turn to Lesson 17, uh, which asks, how did the Civil War test and transform the American constitutional system? And I'll begin by asking, uh, what constitutional issues were raised by the Civil War and how were they resolved? So I think there are three big constitutional issues that were raised and resolved by the war. First was this question of whether the Constitution is a compact between independent and sovereign states, whether it's akin to a treaty that entities can join and leave at their, at their pleasure, or instead whether, as Chief Justice John Marshall said in McCulloch v. Maryland uh, 40 years earlier, uh, anticipating that there would be secession in a civil war, uh, we are emphatically a country that is uh, built from the people up that uh, it's not a union of states, it's a union of people. So this issue about nullification, secession, uh, national supremacy was one that uh, was raised by the Civil War and, and it wasn't completely resolved because we still have arguments today about, uh, about states' rights, uh, but I think some of the most extreme variants of this were put to rest by the Civil War. Second, of course, slavery was a huge issue in the Civil War. It's what led to the Civil War. It's what uh, generated the secession um, uh, that, that Lincoln could not abide. And happily, the 13th Amendment formally, emphatically resolved slavery. And here's an interesting point about the 13th Amendment. It says that slavery shall not exist in the United States, not just that government shall not support slavery. Most everything else in the Constitution has what we call a state action requirement, meaning the Constitution regulates and limits only government, not private conduct. But the 13th Amendment limits private slavery just as much as government-sponsored slavery. So slavery is done. We don't abide it in this country. And then third, the, the 14th Amendment after the Civil War resolved the question of whether African Americans could be citizens. Remember, in the Dred Scott decision, uh, the, ch the Chief Justice said for the Supreme Court that blacks free blacks, slaves, no blacks could ever be citizens. That's why Dred Scott did not have the wherewithal to file suit. Like Marbury versus Madison, Dred Scott was technically a case where the court said it lacked jurisdiction. In Dred Scott, they said they lacked jurisdiction because Dred Scott was not a citizen and thus could not invoke the federal courts. But the first sentence of the 14th Amendment makes clear that every person born in the United States is a citizen of the United States and of that state. So it resolved that question as well. So let's dig deeper into the issue of slavery. What compromises regarding slavery can be found in the Constitution? Well, there are many. There's the provision that says that the federal government cannot regulate uh, slave importation for 20 years. Uh, there's the provision that, pro that allows and, and requires at some level so-called fugitive slave laws that uh, um, impose on individuals a duty to return slaves who freed to areas of freedom. But I think the, the bigger provisions that reflect compromise were the so-called three-fifths compromise, uh, wherein the South got to count its slave population for purposes of representation in the House of Representatives, even though it would never dream of letting its slaves vote. And that had implications not just for the House of Representatives, it had implications for the presidency because the electoral college formula that determines each state's clout in the electoral college is based on how many House seats that state has plus two for its two U.S. senators. So a free state like Pennsylvania had 10 percent more uh, voters than a slave state like Virginia. But Virginia had a larger contingent in the Electoral College because of the so-called three-fifths compromise. And it's no coincidence that for 32 of the country's first 36 years, or the Constitution's 36 years, for 32 of those 36 years, the White House was occupied by a slave-owning white Virginian. 